Welcome to our snooze news. Today we're actually gonna do something a little different because I know some of you have been watching snooze news since we started. You know a bit more about our company, Texas Mattress Makers, but some of you are new and I'd like to take us back to the beginning and how we started this beautiful company, Texas Mattress Makers, and now Living Designs Furniture. I'm Yuval Meichler. I am uh, the owner of Texas Mattress Makers and Living Designs Furniture. Why do I say that? It's because we're going to talk a little bit about how we got to present day with both companies. Four decades ago, I actually was introduced into this business, the furniture business. And I got into the manufacturing. The truth is, in the living room furniture manufacturing. That was when I was initially introduced into this business. And I worked in that for 11 years. And after 11 years, I opened up a company called Noah's Manufacturing, which is the parent company of Texas Mattress Makers and Living Designs Furniture. And that was 100% Wholesale. Basically, we were manufacturing and then selling to other retailers, all the retailers that you might have heard of in the city of Houston, many, many in the state of Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Arkansas, uh, Missouri, California, Florida, New Jersey, New York, and believe it or not, uh, Europe and the Middle East. So I have done a lot of business in this industry in many different facets. In 2010, if folks remember, it was two years after the financial meltdown, the whole world, as far as my world, I should say, business world changed. And I decided that I don't want to continue doing what I did prior to that. And I decided to open up Texas Mattress Makers for to the public and we actually did that in 2012. In 2012 we opened up the first showroom which is where I'm standing right here at 4619 Navigation Boulevard which is on the east side of downtown and I opened up a 2,000 square foot showroom and we displayed what I thought needed to be displayed for the consumers and we started marketing Texas mattress makers. From 2012 to today, and today is 2021, we went from one showroom, thank God, now we have five. We have this one, obviously. The second one was one in Katy, Texas. The third one in the Woodlands. The fourth one in Webster, Texas. And now the fifth one we have in Atascacita slash Humble area. Living Designs Furniture has always been in my business. I have never really pushed it out to the public because several reasons. But the main reason is that it's a different type of a business. Even though it's in the same, in the same building, you approach it differently. I'll give you a simple example. When you come into one of our stores at Texas Mattress Makers and you want to buy a mattress, Let's be realistic. 99.9% .9 of the people in this world don't know what's inside a mattress. All they know is they're not going to sleep on the floor and they're going to sleep on a mattress. Whether it's a twin, a fool, a queen, king, whatever, in between, you want a mattress and you're going to go to a mattress store and you're going to be sold one. I said we're going to open up a mattress store that we're going to educate people. And that is exactly the point I'm trying to make. You come in here and my job is to educate you at what's best for you. Not what do I want to sell you, but what is best for you as my customer. And I want to create a relationship with you knowing your personal likes and dislikes, your comfort, discomfort, if you have any pain, anything that can cause you not to sleep well or does cause you not to sleep well and then we will fit you in different mattresses until we find the one that is perfect for you, meaning comfort is first and foremost, your pocketbook, and the size. 
Living Designs Furniture, not the same rules. Now, let's say a young lady walks in here, a young man walks in here. When you buy a piece of furniture, whether you realize it or not, you look at it based on first. What's the style do I want? What is the color do I want? Does it reflect my character? Does it remind me of my mother's house or my grandmother's house? Does it remind me of a magazine picture that I saw? However you do, you approach it, but it is extremely personal, very personal. Because once you buy a piece of furniture or living room furniture and you put it in your house, it becomes the center point of your room. This is where you're going to invite your family, your friends, your loved ones. They're going to come in there and you're going to want to show off what you have. That's an extension of your character. So it's a different approach of doing business. And until I found the right people that I wanted involved in that business, I, would not have, I did not really want to offer it to the public because I knew that we couldn't do it the proper way. So Living Designs Furniture, what is the difference between it and another furniture store? It's very simple. We have the representation of all styles that you will find in any other furniture store. Only we're very focused at what we do. Secondly, we will have every fabric, texture, leather, different kinds of leather, obviously thousands and thousands of colors. But what we're going to do is we're going to tell you everything other furniture stores don't tell you. We're going to tell you for you to be comfortable, you have to have this type of a seat. Are you a sitter? Are you a lounger? Do you have a certain amount of space that you want to use? So we need to make you something that fits into that space. Do you like a soft cushion, really soft cushion, or a firm cushion? We're going to let you sit on those different fields so you can feel the difference. We don't want to talk to you about the difference. So we approach it in a very personal way. We want it to be personal. We want you to get what you like, what you want, and how you want it. And here's the last kicker. If you come up with a great idea, because that's your fantasy, we're so good at it, we're going to tell you, that's a beautiful fantasy. Or we're going to tell you, you know that fantasy you have? It's going to turn into a nightmare the minute you put it in your room, and here's why. What am I trying to say? Is we're not going to allow you to do things that we know as professionals at what we have done, at least I, for over 40 some years, to make that mistake. Not because you're the consumer and do you want to buy something, that you shouldn't be told the truth. Here's what I love about my job. First of all, you need to use your brains. And I love to think, and I love to solve problems. Secondly, you need to actually work with your hands. So, what I love about this is that this week I think about what kind of style of sofa I'm going to make. Or someone comes in, a decorator or whatever, and they want something done that I've never done before. That's actually exciting to me. It drives me. I like things that are not the norm. And what I enjoy about doing this is, and gives me the passion of it, is really I like to make people happy. I enjoy serving people. As weird as it might f sound, that's my passion. If you come in and you want a red chair, but this red chair, and this style, and I can provide it for you, that makes me happy. And as long as I feel the way I'm sounding to you right now, I will continue to be in this business. And since my whole adult life, this is all I've ever done, and I love it, I don't see myself ever quitting. So if you need a piece of furniture for your living room, or a headboard for your, or bed, I should say, for your bedroom, and you want it upholstered, shame on you for not coming to see me. Because I guarantee you, if you can't find it anywhere else, and please, go shop. Don't buy, go shop. Then come back here, let's see what you're going to find that is totally different about what you saw over there. And as long as I am able to be a profitable company, I will always be charitable to the community, 
to my church, in my case it would be my synagogue and churches, always, because as a community that has made me successful, I have to give back. It's not I want, this is not a marketing tool, this is not look at me, I'm a nice guy. Uh, I don't, my brain doesn't function that way. It doesn't function if you think I'm nice or not. I hope that I'm nice, I always am respectful, but that's the way I live my life. You give, you receive. You don't give, that means you only take, and that's not acceptable to me. And if I can make one person, one child happy because I have done something that I think is the correct thing and the nice thing, then I've done what I'm supposed to do. I don't know any other way of living my life. And never look at women that put their tongues out at you and try to disturb you while you're doing this. We, whether they do or don't, it doesn't matter. At my age, I don't get excited. I get a hug. He's talking about me. And I'm talking about her. His favorite then, designer in the world. And then you tell her, see, my favorite design? Get the hell away from me. I'm busy now. <laughs> I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Yes, I do. It's like a gift from God. I like it. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do anything in the camera that they can sue me with. Now let me ask you a question. I'm going to look in the camera, you look in the camera. I'm going to ask you a question, you answer it, okay? Yes, sir. All right. What would I do if someone lies to me? You will kill them. What do I do if someone cheats me? You will kill them. What happens if someone steals from me? You will definitely kill them. That's the way you finish a show. <laughs>